Hmm. Oh. Sometimes I look at my figure and I wonder. Life is good, but it can be better. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Figure upgrades. We action figure collectors can be some real picky bastards. And sometimes a figure just isn't good enough. And thankfully for people like me, there is now a variety of custom parts and accessories made by talented artists for your action figures to give them that sauce. These are made by people with talent and a 3D printer. Now let's begin with something everyone likes. Some good head. I could have said that better. Like, this Spider-Man is cool. I love this Spider-Man. I love you, baby. But it is based off of No Way Home, and I much prefer the mask from the OG trilogy, and apparently so did everyone on the goddamn planet. The recent advancements in 3D printing technology allows us to have the best quality custom head sculpts. The first one being from Aldi Art Studio. And this head is based on his appearance in Spider-Man 2. The way you put this on is kind of weird. There's a big ass gaping hole in the head. Now instead of popping it on the peg, you just slide it over the neck, kind of like a condom. Not that any of you would know anything about that. <laughs> and believe it or not, this works surprisingly well. But get a look at this head, man. He did such a great job replicating Spider-Man from the original trilogy. And yes, it does come in black. I love this thing. And this is the 1.0 version. Aldi has made a second, better version with the proper peg hole system, all for $25, which is more than fair. If you do want these, I would get them soon. He's currently making a last batch for September, and he will also make one for the Mafex figure, which I will definitely cop. Message him on Instagram, link in the description. Another Toby head, this time by Farul Store. This one is also based off Spider-Man 2, and it looks just as awesome. I really love the eyes on this head. And just like the last head, they perfectly matched the paint on the SH figure arts. This head has a hole, and there's a thing on the neck, so you put the thing in the hole, and it's as snug as a bug, or arachnid. And as if this wasn't already cum-busting enough, he made a head based off the first Spider-Man movie, which yes, is a different mask, and it looks amazing. Did I say amazing? Because he made one for that too. Oh yeah, you want head? This guy's got head. If you go to his website, he sells all kinds of Spider-Man heads. From comic heads, to movie heads, to even video game heads. Here's the Miles Morales head he made, and this is how I'm gonna display the figure forever. This next one is by Kisu Creations. Jesus Christ, these names. And this is the Battle Damaged Head Sculpt. Of course, based on the final battle of Spider-Man 2002, this thing looks fucked up. Which is the point, this is the face of someone with a broken heart. And it looks fucking awesome. The rips, the cracked eye lens, the blood coming out of his nose. And I think it does look like Tobey Maguire. All of these Tobey heads have been nothing but peak. So let's move on to a different kind of peak. Willem de Peak. <laughs> These two heads come to us from copy artist EG. And for this, we're gonna need the SH Figure Arts Goblin. Hey, hey, I know, I know, I'm working on it. There's just some shit I gotta figure out first, okay? But in the meantime, let's rip off his fucking head. As for the new head, I filled it with some plastic and it should fit perfect. Oh no, that's uh, that's not good. I got the mine goblin. But once you do get it on, holy shit. This is the Green Goblin mask that we all know and love, but his eyes and mouth are showing. And dude, this is some of the best paint work I've ever seen. I recognize that face. He's pulling that, I'm gonna finish her. Nice and slow. Oh my God, just awesome. And if you put this on a Toy Biz figure, oh. and there is a Norman Osborn head sculpt. That's the face I make when I have to go back to formula. The ones I have are for the SHF, but they do come in legend size if you want to put it on that figure instead. Kind of like this Peter Parker head he also made. When I saw this head, I had to have it. We've seen many Tobey Maguire heads before, but this is the first one I've seen with his glasses. They even got the tape on the side. Now for this one, I put it on a Marvel Legends suited body, and now I can recreate all the iconic Tobey Maguire poses. This one I got from Kyle C on Instagram. It's a head based on the Spider-Man PS4 video game, and I wanted this because the official Insomniac Spider-Man figures fucking suck. But this fits perfectly on your Mafex Spider-Man, and now you have the classic suit. 
So those were all the heads you can get from independent creators, but sometimes you can just find a 3D file somewhere and you can make it yourself. Here's another Spider-Man PS4 head, but I actually painted this one myself. Not too shabby of a paint job, am I right? Now yeah, you'll need a 3D printer or someone who has one, but it just goes to show you have many options. All of these custom heads are great, but the best part is they're completely optional. There was nothing wrong with the original SH Figure Arts Spider-Man head, or any of these figures. These custom heads are just our way of upgrading an already great figure. But what happens when a figure sucks so bad, you have no choice but to upgrade? As most of you know, my least favorite thing on the entire planet, Sword Art Online. But this shit comes in second place. Look at how fucking stupid he looks. He's just like, my eyes are too far apart. I'm sure you've all seen my video on this figure. It sucks and it sucks real bad. But one of the main problems with this figure is the head. It looks awful. I've seen Spider-Man bootleg toys that look better than this. Well, thanks to Aldi and Ferule Store, you can chuck this old head in the garbage because these new ones are 100,000 times better. He actually looks like a passable figure now. Now, it doesn't fix the other problems with this figure, but at the very least, you can have him displayed without being ashamed of yourself. Both of these guys matched the red paint really well. It's that weird fucking pink color that Hasbro used. And one thing I find really funny is that they actually went through the effort of painting the webs slightly messy because of the fact the original figure had really shitty paint to begin with. These heads are so good, it almost saves the figure. I still hate it though. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Let's move away from Spider-Man for a little bit to talk about Godzilla. Godzilla minus one. Absolutely love it. Godzilla minus one, the figure arts. Don't really love it. This is how he looked in the movie. This is how the figure looked. You, you see the problem here? But oh, look at this one. Now this is the Godzilla I saw in the movie. Very menacing. And his eyes look like they're actually looking forward this time. And this head comes to us from Kaiju Wizard. And I'm pretty sure he is a wizard because he works his magic on this head sculpt. Now, does it suck that you have to buy this to make the $140 SH Monster Arts better? Yes. Was it worth it? Absolutely. It is absolutely crazy that one person could make such a better looking head than a thousand dollar company. But let's move on from the head for a while and talk about some feet. What? Oh my god, it's Sonic! But not just any Sonic. Sonic with the soap shoes from Sonic Adventure 2. These babies were printed and painted by Tito the Og. And these look great. All you gotta do is pop off the sauceless shoes. It's time to roll around at the speed of sound. Very nicely detailed. The only complaint I have is that there's no real upper movement. So it is really hard to get this guy to stand up. It's actually damn near impossible. But if you ask me, that's a small price to pay for some peak. For this next one, we're gonna need the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man 2099. And listen, I'm working on it, okay? Stop asking me. We all know about the Goober Gizmo, but here we have an open version. You are supposed to paint these yourself, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh no, <laughs> no! <laughs> anyway, there's a hole there where you can put this little Lila hologram figure. Attaching it's pretty straightforward. You just put it over the wrist, put the hand back on, and then put Lila in the hole. Um. Yeah, and this is just a fantastic idea. And you know what the cool part is? I literally just bought this on eBay. And for around eight bucks, you can have this too. There's even a Lego Spider-Man version. So, you know, you can recreate this. And finally, we got a bag of goodies from Crafty Gecko. Now, Crafty Gecko has made a variety of custom parts, but the ones he sent me are some feet. But not just any feet, Andrew Garfield <laughs> feet. Now ladies, ladies, control yourselves. There's some action figure feet for the Marvel Legends Spider-Man. But the big difference is they have toe joints because Hasbro does toe joints sometimes, but not all the time. It's very confusing. And I'm actually gonna show you how to put these on. Now I already showed you how to use the boiling water method. So I think I'm gonna show you guys how to do the hair dryer method. So you just need, you know, a hair dryer and you set that baby to high. Make sure the air is blasting at at least six inches away. And after like 15 seconds, the plastic should be soft enough for you to pull off the feet. Repeat method for the new feet. Pop those suckers on and you're done. And now this figure has toe hinges, a very welcome upgrade. Now I can finally have him in this crouching pose. 
I really like the fact that he tried to match the red paint and if you have the unmasked version. And yeah, I'm working on it, okay? I'm fucking working on it. You can get this custom hand where he's holding his mask and that looks really cool too. And I'd never thought I'd say this, but I love these feet. He even kept the peg holes. Like, come on, that's awesome. And he has made an even better 2.0 version for not just Andrew, but all three Spider-Men. So go check out his shop. It's absolutely worth it. It's important to remember that most of these are made by one person who has to 3D print, paint by hand, and ship them out all by themselves, just so collectors like me can have better toys. These are some fantastic customizers, and I'll leave links to most of their works in the description below. But remember, most of these are made by one person, so a lot of them are already sold out. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to give the spotlight to these incredible creators, and I'll see you guys next time. Fuck. <laughs>